Hi everyone, it's Karen Tamir here. I'm at the Prima Marketing booth. And today I want to show you uh, three new products from Prima. This is the Finnabear line. And there's three new rust paste. If you know my style, you love that I you know that I love rust paste. You know that I love patina paste. I use those a lot, and I have a few projects in the booth with them. But the few, the the three new pastes are amazing. So you can get results like these. And this is this was made. Sorry, this was made with the military set. So you can see the colors kind of similar to that. Mm -hmm. And I did add a little bit of the metal rust in it. These specific ones were made with this set, which is the metal rust set. And then you have, and I think this one was made by my friend Rika, who also did a demo this morning. I think it's also, I think it's a mix, but it might be the, mili um, the metal rust set with the military set. And then we have a third set, which is the camouflage set. Oh, cool. So let's reuse, you know why nobody's using the camouflage set. Somehow okay. everybody wants to use all the other ones. There is a lighter color. It has lighter um, sets, in, I mean, it has lighter paints in them. So this is why. So. We've been using the other ones, but we haven't. <laughs> I'm desperate. And we haven't used um, this one. Now, the nice thing about this is that you can use the dark colors first, or you could use the light colors first with any of these. And what you can do, you can either use the light colors and bring in the shadows, or you could use the dark colors and bring in the highlights. And in this case, in this particular case, I actually like putting the light colors first and then adding the shadows, which I do with the green. And it looks really, really cool. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to start with the light color. This color is called Dusty. Okay. It kind of looks like a dust, so I guess that's why it's called Dusty. It has, some of them have funky names. Some of them just say plain brown. This is might be, this is brown. So nothing special. So. I have put already, sorry, just to tell you what I have put on this already. I put some, we have two new pastes, the plaster paste and the paper paste. And the paper paste is kind of rough. So I created this with a stencil and I put it through and it's a very rough texture. Mm. And you can actually sand it, which is really, really nice. Nice. And this one, Adam, could you bring me the two red pots of the of the paper and and plaster i want to show how they look in the pot i don't know where they are the few. and this is the absolutely absolutely thank Adam you a big help and this is the plaster paste and it's really smooth it also can be sanded it's a more smooth 3d effect than the modeling paste and here this is how they come they come like the other texture paste that we have so hold on turn it around so you see it in english yes and they're really cool so these are the two this is the plaster and this is the texture so i did this yesterday i just was sampling it for somebody but now i'm going to actually go on top of them and you will still see that nice texture with even though this is highly texturized so each one of the rust paste actually has a very greedy texture so if you've used these before you'll know that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine, I love combining textures together, okay? So, I love combining these and they blend, look how nicely they blend mm. together. So you don't know where one starts and the other one ends. So it's really nice to do that way, to do it that way. So... How long does this take to dry? What, what Very it, quick, actually. Okay. It actually. Yeah, it's a good question. So it actually is pretty quick to dry. And that's one of the things with these, because they're so gritty, mm. you should also seal them right away. Don't leave them open, especially if you live, you live in a dry country or in a dry state like Arizona. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, make sure that you actually seal them if even with some places I would suggest saran wrap to actually keep the moisture because okay. they do dry up really quickly even in the pot so a lot of people get upset with that so close but them back close up them well, mm -hmm. okay and so I'm just basically covering the whole thing they oh another thing a very good thing with all the rust paste and this is something really cool you do not need to prime them. You do not need to put gesso underneath them. You don't need to do anything. You can apply them directly onto any product. Metal, plastic, um, canvas. cardboard, can well, canvas for sure. That mm -hmm. one is not a problem. But things that are smooth, uncoated. like metal. Yeah, uncoated. So you don't need priming. I have added them straight onto plastic, straight onto metal, and they and nothing comes off. It's great. I think it's they give you a good coverage, and you don't have to, to put too many layers because they're very thick. 
Mm -hmm. And that grittiness kind of covers everything. So I really like that because of that. Yeah. So I basically just covered. Now I don't have any embellishments on this, which I should have, I guess, glued some embellishments. No, but it gives us the idea. Yeah, so it gives you the idea of how it works. So what I'm going to do with the dark color is I'm going to add just like a little bit of like darker edges. So if I had embellishment, I would kind of go, if I'm, I don't want to, okay. I would go in between the embellishments. This is not my project, so I don't right. want to. I would go in between the embellishments to actually add that. But since I don't have, I can just kind of blend it in and it gives that really cool effect. Oops. And you can also add a little bit of the greens. I could have started with the green first. The nice thing about these, you can inter change them you can combine them with anything and it gives it that really cool effect i am going to actually dry this a little bit yep because it looks really good when it's dry you're gonna see so I, you can do what i just did now and you see look how quickly they dry as soon as you don't see the shininess then you know they're dry mm. Obviously, the thicker the paste is, the longer it takes to dry. Right. That's just common sense. But um, it's drying pretty quick yes, with the see, heat that's tool. It. And I don't need it to be fully dry. It's not necessary because I'm still going to. I still want a little bit of that blending. But you see, now that it's dry, that it's picking up that really nice texture. So I'm just basically giving it like a giving it, giving it a dry brush. Mm-hmm. And it's just. You see what Adding I mean? On there. It looks it looks really cool. This is looks like a military like it looks like a military a military uniform, I yeah. feel, a camouflage uniform. Yep. Okay? Yep. So that's exactly what Finnabar had in mind to kind of have that look very camouflagey. But if you want, this is the metal rust. It very looks very similar, but it has that yellow tones in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this I actually added some wax, and I can show you. I can dry this, and I want to show you how cool it looks with the waxes. Um, hold on. So I'm gonna dry because so if you wanna apply any of the waxes, have you worked with the waxes before? Yeah. So if you wanna apply any of the waxes, then you do have to, to have a dry surface. You want to pick up all that really nice texture. And if it's something wet, it's just going to mix and you're not gonna see the, that those highlights that you're gonna see with the wax. And I'm gonna show you how it works. So you see how quickly it's already dry. Look, I've dried yeah. the touch. I yeah. don't have to do anything. Yeah. My fingers are stained. No stained <laughs> finger, okay? And you got, yeah, you see, and you got that really, cool texture mm -hmm. and it's rough it's rough you can feel that rough yeah right? well that oops, actually this is not dry yeah you see it was thicker it's, there yeah it was very thicker there but it's okay it's still texture so the nice thing about them here and I'm going to close these because I want to make sure that they they, they they keep that and we've been using them for four days all the time and look how little we use. look how many tacks yeah this is the same set and look yeah. how full this yeah. still is We've barely touched the surface with this. I use them for m many projects before I, they're done. Okay, just want to put them aside for a second. Okay, that's good. Good enough. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in the wax. And, oh, that's not the wax. Never mind. Oh, there's the wax. Different bag. Different bag. Okay. So. I always say that one of my favorite colors is vintage gold. And Rika was keen enough to lend it to me. This is the vintage gold. It's one of my favorites. So this lasts you, when I say forever, she's had this for over a year. It's basically full and she uses it all the time. And oh yeah. Now I use it a lot. So mine is actually reaching the end and I have bought another one, but I love how this texture looks like. And now Prima came up with some new stipple brushes that you could use with the waxes, but I actually love sometimes just to get my finger in there. And you can see, I'm gonna show you on this green. It brings highlights to all those textures. If you have texture, it will bring the highlights and I'm not using enough. Let me put some more. There you I see. I see it there. Yeah, I'm gonna use some more so you can really see the texture. So here, let's do the dark. Mm -hmm. You see that there? And it gives that really cool finishing touch to everything. Yeah. I am obsessed with these waxes. <laughs> I use them all the time. And I really like using them because I put them on anything, any finishing touch. So for example, you could you see it here. Oh yeah. Gonna work. So here she didn't put as much, but look at this. If I put some of this, 
here. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm putting some. It gives that finishing touch. I um, hope she doesn't mind. I'm touching yeah, I'm her sure project. She will. Okay. So you can put it. You see how it gives? It yeah. just picks up whatever it touches. So you don't have to put in that much effort. Very nice. All right. These are really. Oh, here this this one is a perfect. Oh one. yeah. You see this? It just touch whatever I touched at the top that's what it's going to give definitely so awesome. I hope you liked it thank you so much and come back next year to the Prima booth we'll see you here bye. thank you Karen bye, bye everybody <laughs>